and I wanted to go over with you an issue you might run into when you're working with linear patterns, specifically with the use up to reference option. So I'm going to show you that by cut, taking this cut here and making a pattern with it. So let's go into linear pattern. And I'm going to pick a direction. I want it to go along this edge. And this direction works for me. I'm going to change from spacing and instances to up to reference because that's what we're focusing on here. So when I hover over this blue box, it's looking for reference geometry. Where is it going to go up to? And I want to pick this face for it to go up to. And it highlights the face in green because that's the color of my dialog box here. What I want to do next is give it the seed uh, reference, which means which reference on the actual seed are we going to use up to that green face. So here's where you might run into some, some issues. If you try, no matter how hard you try to click in here, you're not going to be able to get your cursor in here. And if I can't get this box to turn blue, I can't select the reference. Now, the reason this is happening, and this is designed intent, is because it doesn't have anything to select from. This is looking for geometry based off of the seed. And I haven't given it seed yet. So once I give it the seed, I'm going to go down to features and faces to do this. I'll change my cursor into this box. So now this is my blue box waiting for me to pick the geometry. Now I'm picking my features to pattern. I'm going to pick this cut. And now when I go back to this purple box, now it turns blue. Now I can select the re uh, reference I need. So I'm going to pick the edge of this seed reference. So this edge will go up to this face. And that's basically all that's saying. So if I take a look now, I can start thinking about, do I want to go by distance or do I want to go by instance? So I'm going to pick an instance number, and I can increase the number. But notice that no matter how many I have, the edge here, uh, the edge of this last pattern goes all the way up to the green face, which is what I would expect. So I might want to give it an offset. I'm not sure which offset I want to use, but I can actually go into Evaluate and use the Measure tool. I want to make sure it matches from this side uh, here, from this bottom piece. So I'm going to measure it. I'll use the vertex to the edge. Oops. Just grab that again, this edge. And uh, there's a lot of flags here that I can fiddle with if you want. But instead, I'm going to just look at the box and grab the normal distance, because that's what I'm looking for. And notice that if I click on it, it says click to copy. I'm going to do that. So if I click on it, it's copied. Now I can come here to the offset, Control-V, paste. And now I have that 4 millimeter offset. Once I close this up, we can start picking our instances. So I think we'll go with maybe 7. But notice that no matter how many I have, it now stays 4 millimeters from the edge, which is great. So now I can pick my direction, too. I can do the same thing here. I'll pick my edge for my direction. And that's the correct uh, arrow for me. I'll use up to reference. And this time, I actually want to use what would be the edge here. But we have a, a fillet. I have this um, virtual sharp I can use instead. So I'm going to use this point as an up to reference. So you can use points, you can use edges, you can use whatever you need for your up to reference. So in this case, I have the virtual sharp point. And that's my up to. And I know I can't go into that up to that edge there, so I will give it an offset now. Uh, nine millimeters will work. And in this case, I won't have a problem selecting the reference because I already have the seed selected. So I can just pick this top edge. And now it populates. So I can pick either a distance or a number. So we'll take a look here. I think we'll stick with 7 on this one as well. And with a couple instances to skip to remove, this one, that one, that one, and that one, we're done with our pattern. So I hope this has been helpful. Maybe you've run into this before. Maybe you haven't. But if you have, hopefully now you know why it happened. And if you haven't, now you'll know how to deal with it. I want to thank you very much.